Pace Studio on the Road. We're live right now at the Louis Armstrong House Museum in Corona, Queens with Lucy Woodward. Lucy, thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Everett, thank you very much. Henry, thank you very much. The vocal harmonies that have been coming out of the three of you during rehearsal has sounded wonderful, and I can't wait to share three brand new songs with, uh, with our audience right now. Yes. What, what do you feel like doing first today? We're going to do a song called Frey. All right. <laughs> Wash the clothing that I wore Some things you just don't ever throw away Stitched up the holes that weren't there before I snipped the threads, I scrubbed the stains Yeah, I broke my men in two I did things I didn't know I could do him up and myself too cause there's a life we get back to then I start to unravel and then I start to fray I gotta keep it together I know I won't be okay cause there are strings that bind us and once a tie us down it's as tiny as a needle in a stack of hay There are days the house is hushed I move around all the furniture It's what I do when times are tough Cause it's a blessing and it's a curse No matter what the hurting was Ooh, it barely pierced the skin start to unravel and then I start to fray I gotta keep it together I know I won't be okay cause there are strings that bind us and ones that tie us down it's as tiny as a needle in a stack of hay but bigger than a house if I let it fray
Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for doing this in this lovely <laughs> setting. Um, I'm really glad that you had a chance to go around with Jake earlier on and check out upstairs and the archive and the bedroom. And I mean, this room that we're in right now, there's a, the vibe that you were talking about offline when you walked in. Can you expound on that vibe and how it feels to be here in this room right now? Well, for all three of us, we had the same feeling. We're walking into Louis Armstrong's living room. And the, to think about the people who have sat on those two couches and this couch and just jammed in this room or, I mean, look at this piano, this is it. So this is such an inspiration and knowing that we'd be singing here today and playing here today, it helped me like pick songs for what we wanted to do today. Yeah, Amazing. thank you. I'm, so I'm glad magical. that that, that it uh, um, adjusted the set list and they were picked for this space and they sound tremendous here. We were when Juan and I were setting up while you were upstairs. Mm -hmm. This has been like the soundtrack to this house. Yeah. We just hear, oh my god, yeah. no way, Sweet. what? Oh, oh my god, just oh, yeah, 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 you guys course, upstairs. Totally, yeah. like, everyone's like, oh. yeah, man, everyone's the feeling wallpaper. Good. Anybody oh. who needs to come to a little <laughs> museum visit, the wallpaper. I mean, just alone, it's worth everything. Yeah, a lot more than that. And that there's one uh, one thing that I want to tell you. I would also like to tell the internet and musicians that are out there. They're doing. I think this just opened up last week, but they're giving. There's two uh, ten thousand dollar awards that the Louis Armstrong House Museum is putting out there mm -hmm. to contemporary artists to come experience the archive and then and interpret it as they will and create new works. And so I think that's we'll amazing. drop the link to that into the comments section of this video. But that's that that process is ongoing right now. So uh, amazing. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So um, it's cool. a total, total pleasure to have you here right Thank now. You. And we're still hearing two brand new ones coming up next. Yes. What do you want to do second today? We're going to do a song called Put Down the Bottle. All right. All right. Here we go. If we must. If we must. <laughs> right. Yeah. One more time, one more time, one more time. Put down the bottle There's a deeper man in there He might be hiding I might be crazy enough to care No, I can't change who you are But there's so much to look forward to Put down the bottle and I put up with you I know how to pick them since I was 17 you think it's something you grow out of but then it just becomes routine I put down the bottle and I'll put up with you. Put down the bottle. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Baby, put it down. Put down the bottle. Ah, la, 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 Christmas in your eyes la, 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 la. You take this non-believer Give me wonder and surprise Cause life is what do you make it, baby And that's something we can toast to oh, I put
haven't really sung that live yet. This is kind of really a joy. How it sounded tremendous from over here. How do you feel about how that? Good. Went? I'm sweating, but I think that's the Louis Armstrong thing. So. <laughs> Uh, this I know. So you're a part of of a number of musical communities. I mean, in addition to your music, I know you sing with, uh, have sung with with Carol King and with Joe Cocker. I mean, some of the largest names out there. Um, yeah. Rod Stewart, who just turned a year older, I think yesterday. Oh, he did just you have to write him an email? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Tell him happy birthday. <laughs> um, you can do it right now, actually. I can cut to you, and you can wish him happy birthday right now. Rod, I miss you. How are you? Happy birthday. <laughs> And in addition to those names, also the, the Ground Up mu- Music family and the Snarky Puppy family, mm-hmm. um, can you talk a little bit about what it has meant to you to be able to collaborate with um, any any number of those artists? Really pick and choose and, uh, and let oh us know God, what those communities have meant to you. It's such a, it's such a, every community is so different. So even like working with Rod Stewart and touring with him and, you know, jet setting world of, you know, jumping into Berlin to Vegas to whatever, and then jumping in the van with Snarky Puppy. They were just the dichotomy of doing those, um, both of those tours at the same time, for example, just gave me the, the, the tools and the, um, the knowledge of how to be a touring musician, really. And it's all about the team and the camaraderie and the collaboration and the trust and the joy of making music. And so that is something that I just put forward, you know, for the rest of my life. That's what I need to be a live artist. It's, that was really, I can't believe I said that in one sentence. <laughs> that I could have gone so on well done. I'm glad that I asked that question. That was very <laughs> eloquent. Um, that, so speaking of being a touring musician, obviously everyone in the entire world has had to make a massive adjustment about how we live and how we do stuff. I saw that there, you've got two Frankfurt dates coming up uh, in May. And yeah. yeah, are there, do you know, is there any other publicly available information about what might happen tour wise or is that it for the time being? I mean, I'm just always working on little bits and pieces and there's the caution of like every other musician of, um, you know, is this going to happen? So um, I'm based in Europe mainly and so jumping into your different countries is a little easier for me because every country has a different set of rules and borders and things like that. So um, there definitely will be some things in the works for sure in Europe. Um, but it's so hard to tell right now. Yeah. Yeah. We got to do this in Guatemala a couple of weeks ago, which was delightful. With Gabby Moreno, I saw. She's yeah, one of my, yeah, yeah. I spent New Year's with her. She's one of my closest oh, nice. friends. So yeah, amazing. That Good. was so, so special. Yeah, well, we will try to keep it up. Hopefully, at some point, we're going to the UK. We might do this in Havana. We'll see what happens, but potentially in the UK. And so, oh, so good. good luck to, to you so for, good. I mean, for every tour date to hopefully the world gets its act together. We, you know, can yes. afford to do these things safely. And uh, so please too. travel safely between all those dates. And thank you so much for coming here and doing this. Thank man. you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Really. It's such a special thing that you guys do. Yeah. Super, super special. It is indeed. I agree. And there's still, there's still more more music there's one more song one coming more up last yeah what do you want to do last today we're gonna to do a song called um love never leaves this is also everett bradley everett. Hey, woo, woo, everybody out there and this is henry hay All right, Henry. and we've been playing together for like probably 15 years in different capacities and so 20 20 sh- <laughs> and so um we've we've well uh, this is such a joy to be with you guys again so i love you okay let's rock should we do it okay
Thank you, Henry. Thank you so much. Um, do we have, are there any publicly available details about when we can expect the recorded music to be, be available or is that still emerging? Well, I'm literally lick, licksing. I'm literally mixing in LA next week. So there it is. Beautiful. I think it's going to just be out later this year. Is so. there a website where people can There is a website, actually. <laughs> Good question. Good question. My website's lucywoodward.com. That, that website? Yeah. This is where Henry pokes fun at me. For 15 years, I've been dealing with this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will stay tuned for details as they emerge. Thank you so much Thank for coming so and much doing for this. We really us. appreciate Thank it. You. All right. And we have done it. That is it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm sorry I messed up all the groove.